square bracket syntax, which is how you access um, values in an array. Uh, we're going to talk about somewhat of an advanced topic called multidimensional arrays. And then, as usual, we're going to have a uh, talk about coding conventions as they relate to arrays. So what is an array? Well, array is one of the eight predefined data types in PHP, and it's known as a composite data type. And what that means is it's a data type that can hold multiple data values at the same time. This is opposed to um, scalar data types, and we've already learned about three of those, integer, float, and string. Uh, and an integer, a float, and a string data type can only refer to one piece of data. So an integer can refer to one number, float can refer to one floating point, a string can re refer to one string. Array, on the other hand, can um, be used to hold multiple numbers or integers, multiple floats, um, and multiple strings. And actually, it can uh, an array can hold any valid type of any valid PHP type. Um, it can hold it can hold as a data value. So you actually can have an array that contains both integers, um, you know, floats, strings, and in fact, because an array is a valid PHP data type, it can actually hold an array as well which will be known as a multi-dimensional array. And in PHP, arrays are treated as essentially maps. Um, because an array uh, represents multiple pieces of data, you have to have a way to access those individual pieces of data. And so what it does is it creates a key, uh, a set of keys, and it associates um, different values with each key. So like if you have an array with multiple numbers in it, let's say the temperature of the month, um, you need a way to access each of those uh, each of those temperatures, and the way you do that is using a key. Um, in PHP, you can have two kinds of keys. They can be either integers or strings, and um, the values, as mentioned, can be any data type, as mentioned. Um, values can be repeated, but the keys must be unique, because uh, if you had a key that two keys, how would you know which piece of data it refers to? So essentially, let's say we create an array here. We're going to call it, make this a little easier to read, call it ARR. So we're going to define a variable that's an array data type. And maybe we want it to hold uh, five different numbers. So let's say it holds one, two, three, four, and five. Now the way that you access these different numbers, as mentioned, is through the use of a key. So we're going to associate a key with each of these different values. So for example, um, in what's known as a numerically indexed array, the number 0 is going to be used to refer to the first piece of data in the array, in this case the number 1. The number 1 will refer to the second piece, and so forth. Um, and uh, the, the other option is that these, these keys could also be strings. And that's known as an associative array, which we're going to talk about now. So arrays with uh, in integer keys, as we just showed, were uh, known as are known as numerically indexed or just simply indexed arrays. And arrays with string keys are known as associative arrays. So we have associative arrays and index arrays. So we had just looked at an example of an indexed array where you have, let's use some different numbers. where you have a key associated with them of 0, 1, and 2. And the reason I use 0 is that index arrays always begin with the index 0. So if you define a index array, uh, the way you access the first um, element or piece of data that you've added to that array is using the uh, key 0. And we're going to learn about the syntax of in, in a second about how to do that. The other option would be that you could define an associative array and let's say we have the same data values. Except that now we're going to use keys um, that are strings. Actually, let's make this uh, 50. So now in order to access uh, this first piece of data, 36, let's say these were uh, temperatures, uh, temperatures during uh, particular days of a week, um, we, would, we would access this using the key day one. 
So the string day one refers to the piece of data uh, 36. Day two refers to 72, and day three would refer to 50. And this is opposed to uh, using the in numbers 0, 1, and 2. And so associative arrays are quite useful um, because they're a little more intuitive in your code. And um, when you access elements, you're, you sort of get to use a description as to what, what kind of what piece of data you're getting from the array. Um, you know, here we know that we're getting, like, for example, a date, the temperature of day one. Um, up here, we use zero to a index the array to access a value in the array. Zero doesn't have as much meaning because um, every indexed array has a zero in it. Um, so one thing to also note is that uh, in PHP, um, arrays can be a mixture of indexed arrays and uh, associative arrays, meaning that they can have numeric indexes and stream, string indexes all in the same array. It's a little more complicated. Um, they're not used quite as often, and so uh, we're not going to discuss them here, but in the quick notes, um, we've uh, added a link to additional resources, an additional resources link that um, goes to the uh, PHP uh, manual webpage for arrays that's going to discuss a little more about uh, using sort of this mixed type of array if you're interested in that. So how do we define an array? Um, well, in PHP, it's defined using what's known as the array construct, which is the word ar array and then a pair of parentheses. Um, for index arrays, an array declaration is going to look like this. You have the variable name, you have the um, construct array with its two parentheses, and then you have a comma delimited list of values in the array. So here you have 95, the number 95 the floating point value 98.6, and the string hello. Now, because this is an index array, it uses integers as its keys. So this, because um, index arrays in PHP begin with the index of 0, this is going to be referenced with the key 1. Uh, excuse me, 0. This is going to be referenced with the key 1, and this is going to be referenced with the key 2. Now, to uh, define associative arrays, we use a similar syntax. Um, we have the variable name. We have the array. Uh, construct with the parentheses, and we have a, uh, again a comma delimited list of values, but instead of just values, they're actually key value pairs. So we have the same data, 95, 98.6, and hello, or excuse me, the same values, and instead of using um, the default numeric keys that get associated with it, we're actually um, naming the key we want to associate uh, with each piece of data. So for example, we're using the word, uh, the string grade to refer to 95, maybe that represents a, a grade on a test. We're going to use the string temp to refer to the temp 98.6. And maybe we have a, a string uh, that's going to be a greeting, and so we'd reference that with greeting. Um, and it's important to note that uh, the commas in, in these lists are very important because it lets PHP know when you've finished defining um, one key value pair in an array versus another.